exact pattern is different from one part of the world to another, and even from one century to another. But these were periods where you couldn't re depend on the climate to be the way as consistent as the way your grandparents relied on it. To be. So um, when we're so now let's narrow the focus to uh, the 1630s in particular. I noticed a couple of interesting things in. Um, 1632, for example, um, the bodyguards, 12 bodyguards of the French king froze to death. Mm. Now, think about it for a moment. We're not talking about peasants huddling in the uh, hovel here. These are people, yeah, they, they probably did half the stand guard duty, and that's exposing yeah, but them, but they are going to be receiving a much lev higher level of care and the rest. They have better clothing, they have habit. better food. Uh, still at the same bit. time, Italy was suffering from excessive heat and drought. France, Italy, same year. Uh, Norway, uh, they had a crop failure. Um, not, I don't have real details on what happened there. You move to 1633, and in Switzerland, you were getting glacier advance induced flooding. Glaciers go in, they get into they the push river, the lake. They, they, they disturb the water volume or alternative and other effects as well there. 1634, uh, we're going to bring in Walt. I'll tell you what, let me go through the years and then I'll bring you in on that. Uh, we had the, the famous flood in Schleswig-Holstein. Walt has written a story that deals with that area and time, and I'll bring him into the picture in just a moment. Uh, Norway crop failure, and they knew very well climate change, glacier-induced. There is a legal account in which they say the, the, the failure in this region, and obviously the people were asking for legal relief. I, I don't recall now whether it was a tax waiver or something like that, but they were seeking some kind of legal relief. They had ears of corn that uh, were the green on one side and brown on the other. When they the say pen, corn, do you mean wheat? Ears of corn. You mean, yeah, uh, maize? Yeah. No, we he means corn, wheat. Europeans call corn. Because what Europeans call corn is, 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 is wheat. wheat. It's, it's not what we think of as corn. It's wheat, yeah. Well, right yeah. barley, Norway doesn't grow wheat. Yeah, it was barley, oats, yeah, depends where you are. Corn is a I know what they say in, like, in the translation I had, yeah. so. Grain. That's, that's where grain. Yeah. Yeah. We'll say so grain. Not grain, stick to grain. Yeah, it's not corn. What we're picturing is an ear of corn. We're talking about it's good with butter. You know, um, the the grains. That, so it would be an ear of corn. This big, green on one side and ripe on the other. Corn being the generic term for like grain. the corn laws. It's probably oats or barley. That used to confuse yeah. the hell out of people. So it's like that would be yeah. So it's the, we side, grow up with corn the side that was things. affected being the side closest to the glacier. Um, of corn and kernel. They're the same roots. Yeah, but that don't really pop a lot. 1635, winter, the winter, December, from roughly October 1634 to February 1635, the temp froze over. Uh, the, the only freeze over for the temp of the 1630s. Um, uh, 1636, though, the winter in England was unseasonably warm. Uh, six, that same year, the Zermatt Glacier was advancing. Um, 1637, another cold period for London. Uh, 1638 in Marseille, the French were, comp the, the Water in the harbor at Marseille simply froze wow. around the ships. In Marseille? In Marseille? That's Marseille. pretty far south. That's pretty yes. far south. What year was that? 1638. 
Well, that, that must have been in, cold. That though. happened in 1999 in Philadelphia. Yeah. On the other hand, Philadelphia, Philadelphia. Well, they are about the same. And this the period same line, of 1634 to 39, Central Plateau, Switzerland, considered a period of warmer temperatures. So you see what I mean? That even when we start narrowing it time frame, we have some rather significant differences in what's happening when even just looking at Europe. And not that's just weather, but climate differences. Yeah, that's right. Climate differences, not simply weather differences. Now, let me bring Walt into the discussion about the your story, The Great Drowning of Men, where you were dealing with what a Little Ice Age associated event? Well, it may or may not be associated with the Little Ice Age because um, the, what people don't usually realize is that the whole top of Europe here, um, below, below the Scandinavian Peninsula, is actually an enormous wetland. Right. Uh, it's, Reeds and. It, it's called the Vadensee. Um, and uh, from from Holland all the way through to Schleswig-Holstein, um, since about 2000 BC, when when people moved there, um, uh, they've been building dikes and doing things to, to, to control the water. The, to control the water, they've been building dams. They've been building dikes. There are sluice gates with valves on them uh, that date to before uh, the before the common era um, and things like Roman, that. Roman Roman buildings. No, before the Romans, the Celts. The the, the Romans never got that far north. Um, we're talking Almost, about we're talking about um, right on the right on the Baltic, right, um, um, and right on the North Sea. Uh, and in 1363, there was an event which was called. Uh, the Grosta Mandranka, which um, is generic Northern European dialect, Ostfriesisch, uh, uh, Plotdeutschisch, whatever it is, um, for the great drowning of men. In, on Walpurgisnacht, in, in, the new t in the original timeline, on Walpurgisnacht in 1634, which is Halloween night, um, um, it happened again. It was, it was called the second great drowning of men. Um, we have an eyewitness um, who happens to have been one of the greatest hydraulic engineers of the 17th century. And the story I wrote was basically, I fictionalized his eyewitness. <coughs> and we changed the date of the flood and the rest of this stuff. Um, it changed the climate if you, the, the, well, let's put it this way. Um, southern, southern Denmark used to, had at that time an enormous population of cows. They well, were, Holstein cows, that's where they're from. That's right. They, this one flood Dairy over country. a, over one a seven night. hour period yeah. killed 50,000 cows and almost 5,000 people. Uh, ships were washed Inland. Inland a mile. Um, there were hurricane force winds. Um, it would have been, um, the. It, it's essentially the equivalent in a storm of Hurricane Katrina. Mm -hmm. um, or, or, the, uh, you a, know, or the surge that came with Vesuvius. Yes. In a very shallow area, the, the, the North Sea Baltic corridor there is very shallow. And the difference in some cases between um, the uh, between the land and the water um, is the difference between high and low tide. Um, sometimes where you're standing on is, in, is is up, and sometimes eight hours later it's not. Um, so there's a there there's speculation that. Um, especially for the folks that think that the Little Ice Age started way earlier um, because of the fact that the, the first of these huge storms started in, in, in 1360-something. Uh, and the last of these huge storms was in 1780. 
on. They haven't had another one. They're due. They They're are really due. Um, but what it did is it it drowned islands. It drowned villages. Um, um, you can go diving in places in, in the North Sea and you can see church spires that are underwater uh, because of this because of this flood. Is it the the question is is this kind of weather related to the Little Ice Age? Maybe. Maybe there not. Are, there have been correlations with rainfall mm -hmm. in the Little Ice Age. So whether you make the next step I've seen it discussed. Mm -hmm. there, there's a uh, a book on storms in northern Europe mm -hmm. that does tap the Little Ice Age here. The now first a couple points here. You notice he changed the date of the incident. The date that the flood happens, that's weather, I think. The but the conditions that make flooding to have been more likely are Climate and that those conditions he could assume were still there and take advantage of them for his story. And that's and kind of a yeah, the reason butterfly. I changed the date was the butterfly effect. Butterfly effect, yeah. Um, I made it what six days later or something. Like I that. thought you made it earlier and that that was um, a whatever. I've, I've even forgotten what it was. Um, the 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 whole the the the, the whole point here. Um, Oh, the first flood, by the way, the 1363 flood was what created the Zyder Sea in Holland. Oh. It was an enormous uh -huh. event. So it brought, it was seawater that it brought in? Or yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. This, this storm surge mm -hmm. was a seawater storm surge. Mm -hmm. And um, the storm surge reached five miles inland. Right. So it was very much like the tidal wave in southern India and Ceylon uh, a few years ago. Right, New Year's yeah. or the um, Christmas holidays. If you if you see pictures of that, then you can see exactly what happened in this storm surge. Um, the eyewitness uh, had dinner with a friend of his, and they left and they went to uh, another house that was higher up ele ele elevation on wise, a hill yeah. on a hill, and the, in the morning place where they had dinner didn't exist anymore and all those people were never seen again. I think the one they had in Japan in the spring it went a couple miles in. Yes. Yeah. That's the problem if you live in these flat places. Or near um, or near it the. It doesn't take much storm surge and mm -hmm. it's in the next you yeah. know, county or state. Well ask anyone who's you know gotten an east coast hurricane. Yeah. Okay let's move away from the 1630s for a moment. Okay. What I'm going to like to do next talk about what some of the changes mean, then look at, well, how do we know the temperatures? How well do we know the te what the temperatures were? And then we'll get to that, the grill. Okay. Some of so, it in freezing. terms of climate, just first of all, in terms of general health, the climate that people are accustomed to is the one that they survive best in, and if there is a sudden change in what those are that is significant enough, mortality goes up. Yeah, so it either be really cold direction. or really hot, either way. So uh, there was a study where it uh, found that for every degree Celsius, the temperature went beyond the 95th percentile, there was a 